in her most recent book, Vagina, which is a New York Times bestseller, author and Demo democracy advocate Naomi Wolf explores the provocative connection between a woman's brain and her vagina, while also breaking down the science between sex and female arousal through neurological research and neurobiological research, actually. If you look back to just only like maybe 150 years ago, women were being treated for hysteria or other issues by lopping off the clitoris. It's true. I mean, horrific mutilations. I just, uh, and they go on today. I mean, 200,000 women uh, suffer clitoridectomies. Women, they're usually between five and seven years old, you know, every year. And, um, and there's a terrible death rate from it. I mean, it's, it's appalling. But moving to the bigger picture, because I can just get very depressed thinking about that, you're, you're absolutely right. In this book, was my aha moment, I understood why, because of looking at the science. So this is what happens. Um, the female, the vagina, and I use that term loosely. Because of course, I know. No language. one ever knows what a vulva is. Right, it's right. really so the really vulva, the vagina. It's, it's the whole sexual <laughs> nexus, which turns out to be totally different from what we were taught about. Um, the clitoris, the labia, the perineum, the vagina, the enteritis, the mouth of the cervix, they all turn out to be part of women's sexual um, the set of nerves that actually innervate the whole pelvis. So um, the clitoris, what we think of as the clitoris is just sort of the tip of the iceberg and it turns out that the clitoris is actually a structure and it, it goes all through the pelvis and this is the north of it and the G-spot is the south of it. So they're not two separate things and anyway, it's, it's a diagram in the new revised expanded version. But where I was going with this is that the reason that for 5,000 years women's vaginas, their sexual areas have been debased, degraded, you know, women are raised in ignorance or, you know, mutilated, is because when a woman is allowed by her culture and herself to know about her sexual pleasure and to control it, you know, to know how to bring it about, um, this boosts dopamine in her brain, the anticipation of reward. And dopamine is an amazing neurotransmitter because it makes you confident and uh, focused and assertive. It is, I jokingly call it the feminist neurotransmitter. You know, it's like, it's like, mm. let's flip it around and talk about what women are suffering from in our culture. It's not so good. Um, the, so 30% of women suffer from low libido. They're not interested. And there was a study in Britain that people are having 20% less sex every month, couples. Um, and my theory is that this is partly due to porn. I've also got a chapter on porn, and there's new science showing that porn is addicting and desensitizing, and that it, there's some off-the-charts numbers about addiction, and what it does to men over time, and I'm not making moral judgment, is that it makes them less attracted to their partner, that they're literally neurobiologically bonding with the porn rather than their, their partner, and studies show that when men use porn, their partners look less attractive to them than control groups who don't use porn. So where I'm going with this is that many women are reporting, um, complaining actually, that men raised on watching porn have lost sexual skills with women. They don't do that touch. They don't take their time. They don't do the things that arouse the autonomic nervous system in women, which is a very sexy thing having to do with respiration and circulation, which allows lubrication. It's what makes your nipples become erect and makes your clitoris become erect and, you know, you gets you. be able to actually orgasm. Exactly. And, and, I, and I want to think, I think instead of men and porn, we need to go back and say boys. Because and, that's and also what's happening. women, because I should stress that young women are also Women as well. I mean, people just have no idea, but it also starts so young. So young. Now. 11 is the average age that boys start or maybe girls too, but they just looked at boys in this uh, in this study. Um, and I'm not again. I, I want to stress this is not a judgment, but doctors are reporting really a wave of healthy young men and healthy middle-aged men who don't have anything organic wrong with them, but who are having erectile dysfunction and especially delayed ejaculation. They can't reach orgasm, and this is due to porn's effect, a desensitizing effect. And there's something else that a lot of young people have told me about. They're really worried about called the they, one young man who's addicted to porn on HuffPost Live said, it, he calls it the kink spiral, where, and this is scientifically, you know, based, you become so desensitized to like normal vanilla sex, what turned you on a month ago isn't arousing anymore, and so you need more and more extreme images and more and more variety. Oh,